ring beckons once again. Curtains up for a true classic. The DTM is heading back to the Nürburgring. On the traditional circuit, the battle for the title is entering its seventh round of 2014. The decisive phase is now beginning. In pole position, Marco Wittmann. He's heading for the season's highlight in the IFL with a 39-point lead over Audi driver Matthias Ekström. It's a comfortable lead, but no one at BMW is talking about a possible title win. Not yet, anyhow. No, no, no. I'd say we still have quite a bit of hard work ahead of us. There are four tough races to go, so now we just need to concentrate on the Nürburgring. And then we'll see how things continue. Okay, we're in the lead right now, that's true. But I'm sticking with my customer focusing on one race at a time. I think that it's worked quite well so far. Something else that worked well was the Mercedes AMG C Coupe at the last race in Spielberg. The disqualification of Robert Wickens prevented a possible third win for Mercedes this season, however. So the ups and downs are continuing. They're missing the consistency they need to take the lead in the overall rankings. Mercedes is definitely full of surprises at the moment. At the Red Bull ring, we were hoping to win a few points. At the end, we could have won. We just don't know what will happen. We can't assess the car. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it isn't. If it rains, then we're certainly winning material. Under normal conditions, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Hoping for rain. And in the Eiffel region, rain does tend to fall quite often, like last year, for instance. The rainy thriller of 2013 was ultra exciting. One of the protagonists back then was Mike Rockefeller. Despite a collision at the start, he very nearly made it to the podium. The current season, in contrast, has been a tough one so far for the DTM champion. His dreams of defending his title have slipped away, so a race on home turf is just the thing for Rockefeller now. The objective is clear. I hope Audi gets his first win this year, and I get my first victory too. This is a home race for me and we're going to give all we've got. I'm going through a lean phase right now. The last four races haven't gone as smoothly as they could have done. But we're all the more motivated, and we're going to do all we can to turn the tables. DTM fever is gripping the entire region. One week before the start, there was a DTM presentation in Cologne city centre. Fans and drivers mingled. There was a stage show, plus several test rides across the city's Deutz Bridge. The perfect warm-up for the race in the Eiffel. Cologne is my home turf, so driving here with the DTM car was cool. Fantastic, amazing atmosphere. Racing over that bridge with Cologne Cathedral in the background. It was certainly something very special. Something you never forget. After the show in Cologne, things are now getting serious for the drivers 100 kilometers further south, because that's where the Nürburgring is located. It's a motorsports mecca, a myth, and a real magnet for the spectators. The DTM fans can look forward to 49 laps of pure action, because when the ring beckons, thrills are guaranteed.